That's what it should sound like when it's done. Hello everybody, welcome back to AR Airsoft. And today we are looking at this special motor and how it, uh, how to install it into a motor grip. So yeah, uh, let's jump right into this. Okay guys, so um, what you wanna do to um, take apart your airsoft gun is not actually take it apart since um, this is a tutorial on how to just get the motor out of the grip and back into the grip. Okay, so what you wanna do is actually flip up your gun like this and you're gonna see a screw here, a screw here, and a little thing in the middle. Now, that little thing in the middle, you can ignore for now. We don't actually need to do anything to that as the screws are a different story. We need to unscrew the screws. Yeah. Try not to strip, strip them because that will end in a very bad story for you. You do not want to strip them. Now obviously take out the battery, take out the mag, everything that will make the gun shoot. You don't want to be able uh, you don't want the gun to be able to shoot while you're handling it like this. Obviously, keep the barrel pointed away from you. Um, I, as long, like I know it's not a real far firearm, but um, yeah. So once you once you get this unscrewed, just take it off, put it to the side. Make sure you don't lose it because that is a very essential piece. And then what you want to do is get your new motor. Let me unbox this real quick. This is actually the first time I've unboxed it. Uh, I'm just. Pull this out and pull this out. And there it is. The Infinity CNC U35000. This is a really good motor for beginners. It goes extremely fast, um, and you're just gonna love it. You know, you just—it's gonna be amazing for you. So, um, what you want to do is put this up like this, and then try to get these to match. Now, you'll notice um, one side is red on on or like one side is positive and one side is negative. I'm pretty sure it says that somewhere on the motor. Um, let me see if I can find it. Okay, so I can't seem to find it on this motor, but if you look closely on this one, you can see right there it has a plus, and then obviously the other side is a, a minus. So, but on this motor, you, it doesn't it doesn't have anything like that on there. It actually has little notches out of the side. So let me see if I can figure out um, any way to find the positive side and negative side of the motor. I can't seem to find any, um, any uh, indication on which side is which, but we'll remember the left is the red and the right is the black. Now, let me get this off and be gentle with these. They are pretty fragile and they're pretty expensive too. So left goes red. So this is red. So I'm thinking left goes red. So we're just gonna slide this in, make sure it does go in the hole. That is not in the hole. There's a little hole and it should be able to go boing, 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 because it's actually like on a hole that is on the spring now. So you, as soon as it's like that, get these wires plugged in. Now I'm gonna try to get closer view to this I'll, I'll show you guys when I'm done, but basically there's these little, there's little knobs right here and right here and the, the connectors are flat and they just slide onto those. There's no welding or, or soldering or anything like that needed um, because these, th these kinds of things are made to be replaceable. The wires connected, you want to make sure they're out of the way of this blue bit right here and try to just bend them away from the blue bit, try not to mess anything up, 
and then put this piece back on so it can actually surround the blue bit right there, the little middle section. And once you, you know that you got it all right, um, once you can officially put this on and it's snug, um, if it can't go in like this right now, then it is not connected properly and you might strip out the, the tip of your motor and it'll be a really bad day for you. So you don't wanna do that. Don't really be afraid to push down a lot. Okay, so I've gotten one of the screws basically in place. Now you want this to be perfectly flat with the bottom of your handle, because if it isn't, then that means you have some sort of problem with um, with where your motor is and if it's gonna line up or not. And yeah, if it's not flat, then it's not gonna line up. Okay, as you can see, it's flat with my handle. I'll give you a better view. Just like that. It is completely flat with my handle. Now, this is the time when you can put in a battery and test it out just to make sure the, the motor is lined up correctly. So here we go. Dry fire out of pillow. Is this battery dead? Okay, actually what you should do um, if that happens, because it kind of sounded like it was trying to trigger it and it wasn't just a, uh, it didn't really sound like the motor um, was lined up correctly. Or maybe it was trying to spin the wrong way or something. So we're just gonna unscrew this. Don't lose those screws, like I said. Oh, that wasn't plugged in. So probably what you wanna do before, before you do this whole process, is you wanna take it out and find out which way it'll actually go. So let's plug it in and then try shooting it. So that does work. Now let's try switching it around and see if that also works. Because if that does, then that will prove that I don't know which direction I should put them. Oh God. So wait. So it's spinning this way. Now if we unplug these. So it's, it's spinning clockwise when I hold it like this. Now let's see if it'll spin the other direction now. Yeah, now it's spinning counterclockwise. Okay guys, so I basically just put in the um, new motor and I, there was one of the little peg areas that was red, so I fed the red wire to that place. Now, um, if, you, if you do all that and you screw all this back in and you pull the trigger with a mag, with, with no mag and just a battery, um, and you hear this terrible screeching sound, that means your gears are not connecting properly and intertwining and they're just grinding and making like a really bad sound. So what you wanna do is actually tighten these screws a little further, not the middle one, unless these are completely tightened. Um, and if you pull the trigger and you just hear, mm, 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 like it's kind of straining and trying to move, but it can't, that means you gotta loosen these screws. So once it's done, it should sound something like this. That's what it should sound like when it's done. Now, um, obviously I haven't shimmed this gun, so it does have that kind of mechanically sound to it. Um, but other than that, uh, that is how you switch out a motor in your airsoft gun. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.